Hi everyone, welcome to OC Everywhere. Today, I've got a couple of new additions to introduce you to, and they are some Siberian goldfinches. So I've had these birds for a couple of weeks now and they've just about finished molting. Now I was very kindly giving them from a good friend of mine local to me uh, and they're absolutely stunning birds. They are three Siberian goldfinch cockbirds and all three of them are mutations which is even more exciting. So let's take a closer look at them. So this is the first Siberian goldfinch. This is a visual agate split white top split satinette cockbird. Now this particular bird stands out to me because it seems to have quite a larger head. It has a fairly good shape to it, but I do think it might be a little bit short. But don't quote me on that. I'm not used to Siberian goldfinches. I'm not used to judging them or anything, but that's just my first take on that bird. Now, it looks excellent, to be honest. I think it has some really nice feather quality. It has just finished molting as well, and overall, it's a nice bird. Up next, the second cockbird is this Agate White Top Cockbird. Now, this bird's got a bit of a smaller head compared to the previous cockbird, but I'm not too bothered about that. It does look a bit of a longer bird, though. It's not as short as the previous one, which I think might be perhaps a little bit more of what they should be like. Um, it is quite a good-tempered bird as well. It's not as jumpy as the previous one. So... This is a really nice bird. I really like that. And I think the main difference, as you can see from the, the white top to the A gate, is that it hasn't got any of the black markings on its head, uh, hence why I believe it's called uh, a white top. But again, it's a nice bird, and I'm hoping I might be able to find a hen for him and the other one uh, to try and breed off them next breeding season. So this is the third Siberian goldfinch cockbird. This is an agate visual similar to the first one, and this is only split satinette, not white top. Uh, it's a nice bird, a little bit smaller on the head and in size than the first and second bird, but it's a lovely bird nevertheless. So you might be wondering, what's the difference between a Siberian goldfinch and a native goldfinch? And the main answer to that is size. So because it's hard to appreciate sometimes on a video, I've decided to put both of these birds in a British size 2 show cage and we'll take a closer look at them next to each other. Now, don't forget, on October 1st, it is the Stafford National Exhibition by the Parrot Society. So I, of course, will be there. I'm going to have a big display aviary in the main hall. So please come over, say hi. I don't buy it, and it's great to meet so many fans of the channel. And I might even have a couple of birds looking for new homes as well. But if you have enjoyed today's video from OC Avery and you'd like to see more, then please make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any more of that. If you've enjoyed it today, do smash a like on it as well. That would be very much appreciated. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for daily updates and behind the scenes footage of all of our birds. Now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.